Good day, friends. It's good to be here on another edition of Health Tips. And today, we'll be examining the importance of fruits and vegetables in our diet. Fruits and vegetables should be an important part of our daily diet. This is because they are naturally good and contains vitamins and minerals that can help us to keep healthy. They also help in protecting against some diseases. These include vitamin A, also known as beta carotene, vitamin C, E, magnesium, zinc, phosphorus, and folic acid. They are low in fat, salt, and sugar, and a good source of dietary fiber. As part of a well-balanced, regular diet and a healthy, active lifestyle, a high intake of fruits and vegetables can help you to, number one, reduce obesity and maintain a healthy weight, two, lower cholesterol levels, and three, lower blood pressure. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, which says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do eat all for the glory of God. This tells us that when you bring God into your healthy eating, it changes everything. Striving to honor him in your food and drink choices will bring not only a heart change, but it will also change your choices. There are many varieties of fruits and vegetables available and many ways to prepare and cook and serve them. We should therefore eat at least five serves of vegetables and two serves of fruits each day. This is hard, right? Well, we can do it. It is possible we achieve this. And I believe that one, two or three people can implement this change. You can choose different colors and varieties. In addition, scientific research shows that if we regularly consume lots of fruits and vegetables, then there is a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, stroke, heart diseases, and cancer. So now, how do we select fruits and vegetables? To maximize nutrients and appeal buy and serve different types of fruits and vegetables. Try to buy fruits and vegetables that are in season. This is nature's way of making sure our bodies get a healthy mix of nutrients and plant chemicals. Number three, choose for freshness and quality. Number four, let colors guide you. This means that we should get different combinations of nutrients by putting a rainbow of colors like green, white, yellow, orange, blue, purple, and red on our plate. Number five, try new recipes and buy fruits as part of your weekly shopping. Now, what are the seven suggestions? For your family's health. Veggies and fruits are handy snack food that are easily carried to work or school. So here are some suggestions which include keep snack size fruit and veggies portion easily accessible in your fridge. Keep fresh fruit on the table to improve its longevity. Number three, Add fruits and vegetables to your favorite family recipes or as addition to your usual menu. For example, you can add carrots or banana or even vegetable to your rice. Any sort of rice could be jollof rice, could be fried rice. Use the color and texture of a variety of fruits and vegetables 
to add interest to your meals. Now, here are some tips to serve fruits and vegetables. And they are fruit and vegetable salad. We could get fruits like watermelon, banana, pineapple, apple, and make it as a fruit salad. Then, fruit smoothie. You could blend banana, watermelon, apple, coconut to make a smoothie. Number three, vegetable or meat and vegetable stir fries. For example, chicken casserole. We have it around us. You can add chicken to your vegetables, such as potatoes, cucumber, lettuce, cabbage, and all. Raw fruit and vegetables too. You can eat your vegetables and fruits raw, like munching on banana, munching on, uh, munching on apples and cucumber, etc. Vegetable soup, such as potato soup, a furry roll. We have spinach, we have lettuce, we have green leafy vegetables around us that we can make into edikai kong, amonyu tutu, elegede soup, afang soup, etc. Then, there's a point to note. We shouldn't overcook our vegetables to reduce its crunchiness and nutrient loss. So, we should also limit fruit juice as it does not contain the same amount of nutrients as fresh fruit. Furthermore, it contains a lot of sugars. Instead, we should have a drink of water and a serve of fruit. Children have a smaller stomach capacity and higher energy needs than adults. Therefore, they cannot eat the same serving sizes as adults. However, we should encourage them to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables such as watermelon, banana, pineapple, carrots, potatoes. By so doing, they will have the energy required to play, to concentrate, to sleep better and learn better and also build stronger teeth and bones. So till I come your way some other time, I remain doing Sola Adiola Ajibola. Have a nice day. Bye.